Welcome back guys. For the next step in our build, we are going to be installing the drip edge in the white metal roofing. And then once that center section is covered, we're gonna start building the roof over the containers. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna cut this, this top off, wrap it around. So whenever I have my gable end flashing, uh, it comes out to here and you won't have, all you'll see is white if you, if you happen to see a, a little bit of a gap, you won't see any exposed wood or anything, so. Poor Spencer has hit his thumb so many times using the hammer. Please look at it. I hit it again and it's cold out so it feels great right now. <sighs> and it's not because I miss the nail, it's because sometimes the nail, when you're holding it in place, you think you have it steady and then all of a sudden it shoots off wherever and you smash your thumb. So now, I'm tired of that, and I'm going to just use pliers to hold it, hold the nails. Poor guy. Uh, and it puts him in a great mood. Okay. So you guys can obviously see that we went with a bright white metal for our roof and the reason being obviously it is the best as far as reflecting the sun and it's going to be the best color as far as keeping our home energy efficient. We chose white because we're obviously in a cooling dominated uh, climate so keeping the roof as cool as possible is one, one benefit but also the air gap in between the actual roof deck and the metal is another key thing. You want that to allow any hot air that radiates from this metal, from the sun heating it up, to escape. And these uh, wooden um, purlins act as almost as a thermal bridge in a way. So it, it just puts a barrier in between the metal roof and the roof deck itself. All right, so yesterday we were test fitting our metal roof to make sure everything like was aligned how we wanted to and uh, just a trial run. And Ken's actually noticed that the uh, metal had some scoring on it. This was our first sheet. Uh, the company we bought it from offers a 40 year warranty on it so it shouldn't be an issue getting that replaced it's just a hassle to take it back you know so we're gonna pull this one down throw another one up and go from there first panel going down <laughs> You're so good at that. Every single time I start filming, <laughs> something gets messed up. Baby and mama are doing great. Baby's getting super fluffy. I'm ready for winter. 
super. First, you take the DIY measure thing. Measure thing. Then you locate the pencil that you've lost for the 1,000th time. Probably another panel. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay. Here. Step four. Measure with complete accuracy. Scratch that. Step four. Measure. Step five, celebrate because you're doing great. Step six, remeasure because you probably did it wrong the first time. What step are we on? Oh, seven. Step seven, make your marks for the rest of the panel so you know where to screw. Step eight, remeasure again, just for fun this time. Hold on. Step nine, pre-drill holes. Step 10, put first screw in so it doesn't all move and it all gets messed up. walking and my shirt got caught on the metal sheeting. Now I have a hole in my shirt. I don't even know if you could just see it. But it's okay because you know memories is what I got and I just wish I wouldn't walk the wrong way so what can you do? So we are about to put on the last piece. Spencer's just down right now getting all the materials because he's gonna have to uh, cut a little bit off of this one because it's a little bit too long. Yeah, last one.
All right, I just have something I want to address because I know it's going to be talked about in this this coming video. So the screws in the valleys versus screws at the ridge. Well, every manufacturer that manufactures these style panels, the classic rib panels, they all recommend to install in the valley. Uh, at least every manufacturer that I've I've seen. I have never I haven't seen any recommend at the ridge. Um, and another thing is if you installed at the ridge, first of all, you would only have this little tiny piece holding the, the metal roof on. And also where if you installed the ridge, you would have it come down to about right there. So you'd only have roughly that much screw inside the holding your metal roof on. However, I can't know if I get it straight, but roughly something like that. So you'd have about half of an inch of screw to hold in your, your metal roof versus if it's flat against what it's mounting to, you have all of that screw inside holding down that metal roof. Also, with it being up that high, I mean, think about it. If you only have that much up there and you get high winds, that's just a matter of time before that screw wiggles loose because you only got that much and all that leverage pressing against it, it's just gonna eventually be so loose it could rip out. That's why all the manufacturers that I've, I've looked up that manufacture these style panels recommend installing them in the valley. You're so smart. Hashtag building science. screws are in we will still have some screws more towards this ridge but once uh, once I cut the excess off then I'll place those last remaining screws in and then also put the trim on but as far as the rest of them they're all in and they look really straight it looks sharp I really like the white. Me too. Please look at how flooded it is right now. It's the worst I've seen it. Oh yeah. The water is literally coming out of the ground right here. Inside of our barn. Yeah. Like, literally, the ground is so saturated that that's happening right now. And we have a little river through our barn. Spencer is just getting ready. We just went and did the chalk line up there just for that piece right on the end. And Spencer's gonna go ahead and grind that off right now. And once that's done, we're gonna go and order the trim pieces because we'll know the exact measurements after that's all cut and everything. This is terrifying.
Yeah, Spencer, he's so fine. He's so fine. He will climb on his Spencer. Him, 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 Spencer. He picks up those pants so good. He what, 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 what? Oh, yeah. He picks up those pants so good. Better than I definitely would. Yes, Spencer. Yeah, yeah, yes, Spencer. Mm-hmm. <laughs>